Hello guys and welcome to my channel, my name is Kiki and let's jump into today's project. First we're gonna need a couple of triangles, I'm gonna use five of those triangles made out of cardboard and we're gonna use this tape, that's packing tape, regular packing tape, and we're gonna glue them, no, tape them together, <laughs> no gluing involved, not yet, <laughs> we're gonna tape them together like that and we're gonna tape those five triangles together except for the last corner I'm gonna show you a little bit better but that's what what we're looking for we want that to bend that's why we are using tape on the inside of our piece so we're gonna continue taping them like that all around and I'm making a chandelier but you can make a beautiful Halloween Beetlejuice hat. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over like that and I'm gonna bring my glue gun and I'm gonna start gluing them and adding glue to all of those corners and now I'm gonna glue together the two that weren't taped together. Just like that. And after that and if it wants to glue together, <laughs> it did, it did. <laughs> What we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to closing those gaps between our cardboard using lots of hot glue. And now I'm gonna use my silicone thingy that I just burnt with my hot glue gun. <laughs> and I'm gonna continue doing that and I'm showing you that it's melting with the glue. So I don't know what's happening here. I'm gonna try it and then I'm gonna remove it because I will get burned. <laughs> and then I'm gonna grab my trusty spatula, silicone, silicone spatula, and I'm gonna flatten that glue out. That's what we want. We want just to cover that cardboard texture with glue. Now it is glued and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide my triangle so you can do this before gluing them together, but I forgot to do that. <laughs> so now that we have that li those lines, I'm gonna take some pieces of cardboard like those, and I'm gonna cut, cut like a semicircle on the bottom, and I'm gonna glue those to the border of my triangle thingy. <laughs> and we're gonna glue it like that, and I forgot to cut them to size. I cut them a little bit smaller, so you're gonna see me fixing that a little bit later. And I'm trying to fix it here with a bit of hot glue and it won't work. <laughs> so what I did, I decided to add a piece of cardboard to that corner. Now let me show you what I'm doing here. I'm adding more hot glue and trying and failing. <laughs> so I decided to come back with a piece of cardboard and cover that opening that I left there because I couldn't measure them. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna cover all of those corners with that, just like that. And then when we have all of them covered, I'm gonna add a little bit more of hot glue so we can seal the texture of the cardboard and you cannot see it when we paint it. Now I'm taking my black ink chalk paint and I'm gonna paint one of the halves of those triangles, like you see me doing here. I'm gonna paint one of those and it's gonna be one white, one black. I'm gonna show you the black process, painting process. But what you're gonna do is the same process but with the white chalk paint. And we're gonna continue painting them and as you can see, I'm just following my line and covering the edges that I just did with hot glue all over with black paint and this is how it's looking while we're painting I'm just getting everything painted so it doesn't look like cardboard and it looks like Beetlejuice hat <laughs> because we want that beautiful hat that he has that it's kind of carnival type of thingy <laughs> And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same, skip one of the halves and then paint the other one. 
and we're going to repeat those steps all around our triangular thingy. <laughs> yes, we have a lot of thingies today. <laughs> so we're going to continue painting until we finish with that black and then come back with the white. This is part of the Halloween movie Madness, hosted by two of my beautiful friends, Annie from Indie Annie Jones and also Lini from Crafty Lini. In the description box down below, you're going to find the links to their channels and also the playlist for this wonderful challenge. Go and check them out and also check out that playlist. Now that we have it all painted like that, what we're going to do is we're going to come back with that flat black spray paint and paint the inside. And that's how it's looking. Now I'm taking some black poster board and I'm going to add some lines to it. But first I'm going to draw my guide lines. And for that I'm just using my, oh, I forgot the name for that. Ruler, <laughs> my ruler, and then I'm gonna do the same with copy paper, and I'm gonna make some lines with my ruler like that, so I can cut those strips of paper, and I'm taking two copy papers, and I'm gonna cut those strips out of the copy paper. We're gonna cut all of them, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue them using a glue stick. Yep, it's that easy. We add some of that glue and we glue it to our poster board. Let me show you again. Glue and glue it. <laughs> Super easy. And we're making the stripes for our center part of the hat. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that poster board, add lots of hot glue, like that and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it together leaving the same space like you see there <laughs> and now I'm gonna take the hat and I'm gonna add that base by adding more hot glue and then I just attached a couple of pieces of the paper to make it sturdier and now I'm gonna take that gem that you see there, that's a chandelier gem that I had, and I'm gonna string some of that fishing line, and I'm gonna cut long piece for that. Then I'm gonna fish it through that, and that was a struggle, <laughs> but I did it, and that's how it's looking, and now I'm just taking some of that mesh that I tied together, and gluing it to the sides. I'm not an expert on tying that mesh, and as you can see, it's all over the place, but that's the look that I'm going for. <laughs> and we're going to continue gluing it to the base until we finish, and as you can see, we have the gem over there, and now we're going to move on to adding our bats, and those bats that you will see are from Walgreens, and I'm going to remove those thingies, <laughs> sticky thingies. <laughs> Lots of thingies today, and I'm gonna glue those to the corners. Lots of hot glue, and just stick it there and hold it down. Press it down so it gets really nicely glued to that. Now I'm gonna show you again what we did. Remove that, add lots of hot glue, and stick it in. Just holding it really nicely until it dries. Now we're gonna add the side pieces from the carousel I think that's the name for that <laughs> the thingy <laughs> and we're gonna cut little pieces of that same fishing line and we're gonna cut three of those because we are gonna add three of those bats and I'm cutting the strings and then I'm gonna add a bit of hot glue on top of my bat and I'm gonna add the fishing line using my trusty spatula <laughs> After that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue that to the inside, in the middle, in between of the two black bats. Just like that. We add 
good amount of hot glue and then come back with our spatula and that's how it's looking so cute now I'm gonna show you that I just did two spiders and three bats and I'm gluing my spider to the same piece of fishing line and just I'm gonna show you better how I glue that to the inside of the hat and just like that we had it glued together I'm gonna move on and do the other one and we will have a beautiful creepy hat <laughs> so we can move on to the top and as you can see we have two strings poking on the top and I'm gonna take one of those skulls and we're gonna dry brush it really nicely those are from Walmart and then I'm gonna take a piece long piece of that fishing line and I'm gonna make a loop and I'm gonna pass those two stringies that we had on the hat and I'm gonna tie them together just like that to make it sturdy and that it won't fall out my ceiling <laughs> After that, I added a bit of hot glue, cut the excess, and came back with my skull. And I'm gonna add lots of hot glue, and that's it. This is dedicated to my friend Jamie Joy, and she loves Halloween and also Beetlejuice. If you like modern farmhouse, boho decor, and lots of silly jokes, subscribe because that's what I do here, and here is my social media. Go and check me out. And this is how it turned out. As you can see, we have the creepy skull over there. And this is how it's looking. I have it as a chandelier, a Halloween chandelier, on my living room. And this is how it's looking. I just love how this turned out. It looks so beautiful with my creepy ghost that I made a couple of videos back. Go and check that one out. And this is how it's looking. Remember that in the description box down below, I'm going to leave you the link for the playlist and also to our challenge hosts. I just want to take this opportunity to thank them for bringing us this awesome challenge. I love how this turned out. Look at that. So creepy cute. And remember that if you like this, give it a thumbs up. And if you love it, subscribe. So you can keep on watching this type of videos. Take care. Bye-bye.